Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cab Up with Chris. It's Friday afternoon, I'm doing my first Friday shift today and I'm on 6th Street at the moment, most likely 7th Street if I can get a shift swap for next Thursday and then it's the operation time on Friday. So for those of you that don't know, this time next Friday afternoon I will most likely be circumcised, not through choice, through medical reasons. <laughs> it's not. I'm not looking forward to it but it has to be done. So. I'm going to be using Snake Bite today from Fine Accoutrements. This is an amazing soap, lathers up really well and if what I'm led to believe it is the same soap base or the same stuff that tobacco is made with. So it's the same formula or whatever. Using the Mergress brush today, which is solid aluminium. Absolutely beautiful brush. Now, this was re knotted by Tony Forsyth over at TF Custom Shaving Brushes. I think it's perfectpensandpencils.com.eu. And it's a beautiful little brush. The knot that was in it originally was not the best. This one is a 24mm Manchurian White. Yeah, I think, yeah. Memory's terrible. But as you can see, the tips on it now are all starting to gel a little bit. I have noticed that some of the tips have started to split, which is great and straight into the soap. I don't bloom my soaps, this is a very very hard puck of soap when you get it and what I did was I grated it, grated it down, put it inside this little tub and then what I did was I just squished it down as hard as I could with my fingers and then when I use it what happens is the water sort of gets in between all the little cracks of the grated, looks a bit like grated cheese I suppose and it actually causes the soap to sort of gel together so you end up with an almost sort of flat surface on the soap inside the tub the tubs itself this tub here is a stray whisker tub you can buy these from the stray whisker and they're ideal because you can just write right on top what's inside on the label they're built for this basically fine accoutrements in my personal opinion make a lovely soap but I really need to up the game with the tubs they brought out little tub bowls I think it was either earlier this year or late last year. I can't remember 100%. Right, so that's the brush well loaded. Wet the face. Now I had a shave about, not a shave, I had a shower about half hour ago. In fact, it was probably an hour ago now that I think on it. I've just been out with the wife. She's not been very well the last few days, had a bit of gastro, so we just went out for a nice little drive and just some chill out time. And the good thing with her daughter getting a bit older and the boys getting a bit older is you can leave them, leave them alone for a little bit at a time. A while since I've used this soap. I would say it's been well over a month, possibly even two months. Very, very soft, not this beautiful soft tips. Let's get excellent flow through. Bit of tips again. And again. Right, let's just splay this a bit and get some lather built. As 
you can see the flow through and the brush is excellent. It really allows the lather to come through. The fine accoutrement soap lathers up an absolute treat. Three days growth today. Downside to this brush Can. is the handle's a little bit short, so because the, the bloom on that knot is so wide, Can. as you can see, the, the handle does get quite a bit of lather on it. And I will be honest with you, it's quite slippy. So, if you do end up getting this knot or this brush when it comes back out, hopefully, it will get released again. It's not on sale at the moment, I think, due to quality, the knot that was in it was wrongly advertised in my opinion it was much smaller it was like a 21 mil knot that was in it it was meant to be 24 and it fell out after like five uses so this new knot superb but it's a lot it displays a lot more you do tend to get a bit of ladder on it that brush would probably have been better with a longer handle exact same style just a bit longer similar to the longer style knob that you get on these as well so this is the Murgress it is a Murka Progress with a stainless steel knob right there which looks absolutely stunning. Now the knob itself is different coloured because it is just a raw stainless steel. You can see the difference in the colours, but it's very nice. Very well built, it's got a beautiful balance point. I've got a brand new Gillette, Gillette, brand new feather blade, which Spencer has been favouring recently and quite a, quite a few people, if I'm, if I'm honest. I've seen a couple of posts on Facebook of people taking close-ups of the edges and they've been quite impressed with the feather blades and they are very sharp, so. I generally get one shave out of one, sometimes two. The menthol and the soap is so, so cooling. But look at that. Sat there talking a lot of shit and the lather hasn't budged. Good thick creamy lather. So here we go. I've got this in setting three today. through the hair. You can probably just see just down here where the hair is and where it is no longer. That is scary smooth. I don't remember a feather blade being that smooth if I'm honest, that's really smooth. It's been a long time since I've used one, certainly in this razor anyway. There's every chance that because I haven't used this razor for a while, I haven't shaved for three days. I've been shaving every day for so long. Maybe my skin just having that little rest has made a difference. That has just chewed through the hair. It really has. So close already. It's probably worth mentioning, even though this is this is a new blade, brand new blade. It's came out of a brand new packet as well. And the last packet of feathers I had were great, but they just they weren't as smooth as this from memory. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, first pass. A little weeper just there on Adam's apple. I'm not worried about that, just a tiny one. I'm just going to have to sink it actually because it's full of air already. Right, here we go. We'll add that number two. thinner than the first one, no doubt about it. The brush is still caked so there's loads in there for the third pass and the touch up. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, I'm going to, oh, I'll keep it on setting three, it's so smooth so I'll keep it on setting three. Lovely second pass. Let's move on to pass number three. Soap for me is very slick, it's very easy to work with. You see here how much lather just comes through this flow through right now. Look at that. So that's just out of the flow through on the bottom of the brush, which comes through here. So, flow through on a natural hair brush, which this is, this is badger hair. As you're working it on your face, the lather makes its way through the knot and comes out the bottom and that's where you get this flow through here which I've just put on my chin. You can then work with the knot again like so. Need just a little bit of water. Just working in the same lather that's in the brush, then I'll scoop a little bit off there so you can see that there. And just add that in as well as we go. So 
skip a little bit there. And there we go. The wife's just watching The Handmaid's Tale at the moment. She watched the full last series and really enjoyed it. I didn't actually watch it, but the parts that I did see were quite good. Oh, the menthol on this is phenomenal. Really, really good strength of menthol. Leave how smooth this razor feels today. And the head on the razor feels like an ice cube on your face because of how cold that menthol is. Now one thing you have to be careful with when you're using menthol soaps, it does make your skin feel numb. If you use something strong enough, like, like this one is. So you still have to really, really gauge how much pressure you're using. Now someone brought up a good point, I think it was Ice Rocket, regarding pressure. I've said it before, no pressure. I've watched that many other people say no pressure. I thought I'd clarify it in the last video, but I don't think I did. When you use a double-edged razor, you have to use pressure. It doesn't matter what razor you use, but what you have to bear in mind is that when you're using a heavy razor, this is about 90 grams, I think, maybe a bit heavier. Maybe 100 something grams, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's quite heavy. You don't need the same amount of pressure on your skin because of the weight of the head and the razor to actually do the strokes. The MG90, however, aluminium, titanium, it's very light, so you need to put that little bit more pressure on your skin in order to get the shave. Finding that happy medium of cutting the hair and the pressure is the most important part of DE weight shaving. As you can see, I've got a couple of little weepers there, but I've managed to get through that whole shave without really any issues. And that's partly down to experience of using this razor for so long now. Knowing the soap, knowing the slickness, and knowing the contours of my skin. I'm just going to add a little bit of lather here. And against the green round loop. And that is me. Done and done. Just rinse the brush out. So yeah, like I say, this it's got to be pressure. When you have DE shape, any shape, you need pressure on your skin. But it's being able to manage the pressure that it gets you the smooth, comfortable shapes, as opposed to cutting yourself and getting irritation. 
And for everyone that's different, everyone's hair type's different, everyone's skin type is different. But that's a, that's a hell of a shade. This part to me, you probably can't see, I'm actually going like that on a towel. Can you see? No you can. So what that does for me, because my towels are generally quite hard, they're not super soft, soft or anything like that, it aids in actually helping to hook and split the ends on these badger brushes. Not all badger brushes will do it, but this one certainly does hook a little bit and it's certainly splitting some of the hairs. So I'm looking forward to how this will look over the next sort of 20, 30 shades of it. Just rinse the soap out. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of an herb on, which is aftershave conditioner. Now, this one says it doesn't have menthol on it, but it does have camphor, and from what I'm led to believe, that is a derivative of menthol, and this does have a beautiful cooling effect. Now, I normally get a bit of a burn from that, but I've had no burn at all, so that suggests I've had an excellent shave with minimal irritation. I've got no, no weepers around my lips today. A little one there, and there was one over here, I think one or two. Other than that, really, really happy with that shave. Phenomenal. Right, so the soap today was a snake bite from Fine Accoutrements in my little stray biscuit tub. Now, as you can see, this was all grated at one point. You can probably still see the sort of grainy look of it. But that's literally because of the heat and everything that's all smoothed into one piece of soap again, which is great. The brush today was the Murgress with a 24mm Manchurian White from Tony Forsyth. Now I'm not sure who Tony gets his knots from, but I can tell you that the knots are really good. I'm pretty sure it's most likely Yaki or Yatsi or something like that, but I'd rather give my money to an artisan that I want to give it to. So even though I get them essentially from Yahtzee and all these other companies over in China, all the hairs from China anyway, it does mean that I'm giving it to someone else and paying a bit more, but you know, can't really have a go at me for that. Now Grace, Razor, setting three, brand new feather blade. I'll probably use that feather blade again, that was super smooth and comfortable, really enjoyed it. And finished off today with an herb aftershave conditioner. And that's me done and dusted, ready to rock and roll, get my uniform on. I'll be leaving the house in about 45 minutes to get to work. And I'm really looking forward to it. Beautiful. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.